What did you find out about your friends that gave you a holy fuk reaction during truth or dare? Not exactly truth of dare, but a similar game, a friend of mine admitted that she masturbated discreetly in class when she was bored, what the actual fuck ha ha, that's what I said when she told me, the old cross legged kickman for sure internalizes biology class like no other. One of my classmates had sex on a bicycle, I still wonder how she did it, or maybe I'm just stupid, no, no, with a bicycle, I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars, this makes more sense lol. Found out one of my guy friends genuinely proposed to a stripper directly after basic training, ring and everything, she politely declined, something something Dodge Charger, Camaro, Mustang all with V6S rather than proper V8 yada yada, but stripper was the real heroine, no lie, throw the boot back in the lake, he'll learn to make better decisions, hopefully. I'm in the military so this is less shocking and more laughable, the amount of guys that leave home for the first time and fall in love with the first woman that gives them attention is astounding, only thing more common is any girl that's slightly attractive getting married to the first guy she meets in technical training. Once in university I was playing truth or dare with a group and this girl that had been my classmate from preschool to university confessed that she had sex with a teacher in the school bathroom when we were in 7th grade. That would make her around 13 and if I remember correctly the teacher was in his late 20s back then, that needs to be reported, I doubt she was the only 13 year old he has tried this with. I know and I agree with everything you said, I just never figured out who or how to report this, the girl told us in 2014, the incident happened in 2006, my sister was in middle school in 2014 and she was enrolled in the same school I went to, so I freaked out and I asked her about the teacher and she said nobody with that name worked there. So I guess he stopped working there after I finished middle school but before my sister started it, I have no idea where he works now. But I think he had not been exposed because in a town as small as mine, if he were exposed for this I would know, I considered telling the police, but I have zero evidence of this happening except for the 8 years later drunk confession of a friend who seems to think there was nothing wrong with it. This was a very good explanation, thank you. During a game of never have you ever, a question came up about hard drugs, one friend who I'd only known for about a month, she was new to the restaurant I worked in and this was the first time I invited her out to dinner with some of my friends, confessed to having formerly been addicted to meth, this was especially shocking to me because she was only 20, which seems too young to be someone formerly addicted to meth. Apparently she got started around 16 and turned to prostitution at 17 to pay for it, lived that life for about 2 years before her parents moved her across the country to live with her brother and get clean, away from the people who were influencing her, she was able to turn it around, I knew her to be a very hard working, strong girl with a go getter attitude, but admittedly a very short temper, now she's a CNA and studying to be a nurse, I'm so very proud of her, don't do meth, it takes about 2 days to get addicted, so I am good for one day, asking for a friend, uh, don't be the heroin guy, bad idea. Think we were 15 sixteenths, played during a free period, one girl kept saying truth, someone asked her what was the thing she was most ashamed of, she responded with I drowned my brother because he wouldn't listen to me, she then said that she was just joking but it's the smirk that she had and the fact that she got suspended for stabbing a teacher a few months after that still has me wondering if it wasn't a lie. Was her brother dead? Not really something anyone would joke about if their sibling really were, I think the question here is did they have a brother? Not anymore. A friend if mine participated in a giving a blow job competition in college, apparently she won, congrats, I wasn't there when it happened playing never have I ever, he unleashed the very specific never have I ever lost a felt pen lid in my ass, long pause, 
then his MVP friend says never have I ever put toothpaste on my dick, I have questions but I'm not sure I want answers, hey baby, it's bedtime, why don't you kill two birds with one stone, so, like you can fill out a form at same time? I've gotten toothpaste on my dick before, by accident, brushing in the showing, toothpaste falls, then starts to burn, accident, like how they accidentally fall asshole first onto a ketchup bottle covered in a condom, yes, accident, the way this comment reads has me in tears. At uni had housemates who were all on different courses, we knew each other obviously, everyone brought a few friends round who had never met anybody else there, one girl got really drunk, she was Irish and came from a strict Catholic family, we were playing never have I ever and she said never have I ever had an abortion, she then drank herself and burst out crying, didn't stop crying for the next hour or so because everyone knew her secret, nobody judged her or said anything negative, I guess she just felt guilty about it and then immediately regretted announcing it, unprompted, during a drinking game, to a room full of strangers. There can be a lot of feelings attached to that shit, she was obviously dealing with it really hard, poor thing frown, poor lass, could have been for any number of reasons, help she's alright. I did almost the same thing when I was in university but instead of crying after saying never have I ever had sex I finished my drink, ripped the bong, puked on my buddy's couch and passed out right then and there, those were some fun times, that is some kamikaze shit right there, it was so surreal, she announced it, immediately drank, laughed about it and then transitioned into a cry that lasted an hour or so before she went home. We were about 13 14 and drunk, my buddy got asked who his crush is and he named my sister, she was 8, O oh number, O oh number. That one of my female friends, who to my knowledge was heterosexual, was the other woman to a grandmother 25 years her senior, who was cheating on her husband with her. This hurt my brain to read but yeah that's fucked. Had a friend during never have I ever, the truth drinking game take a drink when another person said I've never had sex with an animal. Was kind of flawed and didn't see much of them after that. That's one that you just lie about and not take a fucking drink, no, that's the one where you don't fuck animals, fucking obviously but you have to be even more of a psychopath to admit that you did it. There was actually a kid in my junior high school that was proud that he would regularly jerk off his dog. Part of me wanted to think he was just messing with people but the other part knew he wasn't. This is a sad one, our squad had a drinking sesh in one of our friends house and we played never have I ever and TND because we didn't want to do anything crazy, we just wanted a chill and secrets out night. A lot of shit was told though but this one hit us hard. We asked the clown of the group what's the most fucked up thing he has done and he said he almost killed himself we were shocked and we immediately sobered up, if you see him Earl you wouldn't think he would do that because he's so happy go lucky kind of guy like honestly without him our group wouldn't be that fun, he told us his whole story and all of us ended crying because we never noticed the little things about him being emotionally abused, after that. We all offered our houses and had more sleepovers than usual to keep him company, our squad changed a lot after that in a good way, smile. Edit, right after he opened up our group started to open up too and they finally know about my bulimia and they made sure I ate properly. No.